And as the snow continues to fall, don't forget to use Pittsburgh's snowplow tracker. It's an interactive map that can detail where the trucks are located in each city neighborhood. It also tells you how many are currently cleaning the streets. Well, the flurries and gusting winds caused some havoc on local roads. There were crashes all over the region. This one involving four vehicles that shut down the inbound side of the West End Bridge. We saw paramedics take at least one person away on a stretcher. And then this crash this afternoon on the Shipping Port Bridge turned deadly. Crews say that bridge was extremely icy and a snow squall reduced visibility. Amy Wattis joins us now live with more. Amy. Well, good evening, Ken. It has been snowing like this on and off throughout the day today. And right before this crash happened, police say that a snow squall came through the area. They blame lack of visibility and a slippery road on this uh, car and this driver who was driving this car to go out of control. This was the scene of a fatal crash on the Shipping Port Bridge in Beaver County. A white Chevy Cobalt with Ohio plates versus a truck from Rawson Trucking out of Toronto, Ohio. A vehicle coming from the Midland area to go across the Shipping Port Bridge uh, appeared to have lose, lost control and uh, slid into the path of an oncoming uh, triaxle. Police say snow came down seconds before the crash. Snowstorm came through and uh, created almost like a whiteout condition. Roads became pretty slippery. Police say the cobalt turned sideways and the passenger side of the car hit the truck head on. The passenger, a female, was dead when emergency crews got to the scene. The driver was taken to Heritage Valley Medical Center to be treated for unknown injuries. The driver of the truck was not hurt but visibly shaken up. The bridge was shut down right away when the crash happened around noon and reopened to traffic about three hours later. Police say this crash should serve as a warning to drivers. Anytime you have uh, changing weather coming through, especially this time of the year, especially with bridges, uh, you know, take the time to go extra slow and pay very close attention to what your wheels are doing and, and what you feel feedback from your vehicle. It is unclear if the driver of this Cobalt was speeding. We do not know the identity of the person that has passed away at this time. Family has been notified. Now, police tell us this part of the Shipping Port Bridge where this accident happened has had its fair share of accidents over the years. I did reach out to PennDOT. They tell me that they have had salt trucks out throughout the day. They've had them out since actually midnight last night. For now, we're live in Beaver County. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News. Thank you, Amy.